Being two great players who are known the world over, Andre Zine Estra and Cristiano Ronaldo are two stars with unique talents and distinct roles on the pitch. But have you ever wondered which of them has the greater expertise in each skill? In this video, you're going to see a fierce battle between Cristiano Ronaldo and Andre Zine Estra. So, let's get to the fight. Passing. Everyone knows they're both exceptional players. But who has the better passing ability? Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, despite being better known for his other skills, also manages to stand out when it comes to passing. Being able to pull off excellent moves with his technique, Ronaldo is a player who can distribute the ball efficiently and contribute to his team's offensive play. When the Portuguese star is on the flanks of the pitch, he is often able to deliver good crosses and long-distance passes. Based on Champions League 2022 statistics, Ronaldo made 179 passes in seven games with an accuracy of 87.2%, which gives an average of 26 passes per game with good accuracy. Andre Zineesta, on the other hand, is a true maestro when it comes to controlling and distributing the ball, and is considered one of the best players in history in this area of the game. The Spanish star has extremely refined passing accuracy, managing to deliver the ball exactly where he wants it. Andre Zine Esta also possesses truly impressive vision, able to anticipate the movements of his teammates. Even when surrounded by markers, Ine Esta was able to maintain control and find an elegant solution with a clever pass. According to the 2015 Champions League statistics, Andre Zine Esta made 556 passes in 11 games with an accuracy of 90%, which represents an average of 50 passes per game with extraordinary precision. As Zine Esta has the better stats, points to him. Endurance In terms of physical endurance, both players have always been good, but who can move more during matches? Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, is a player recognized for his incredible physical capacity, even though he is now almost 40 years old, which is a testament to his dedication and care for his body. He's also an athlete who takes very good care of his fitness, and it's no wonder that he's able to maintain a high level of performance for the entire 90 minutes of a match. He can run for long periods without showing fatigue, which shows that he is a player with excellent physical endurance. According to the Champions League 2022 statistics, CR7 ran 59.5 2 kilometers in seven matches, an average of 8.4 kilometers per match, a reasonable average for a footballer. Andre Zineesta, for his part, had enough stamina to run the length of midfield, creating goal-scoring opportunities and contributing to his team's performance. His physical stamina allowed him to cover a large part of the midfield, and he was key to controlling the intense pace of the game. According to the 2015 Champions League statistics, Andre Zine Esther in around 96.4 kilometers in 11 matches, which means an average of around 8.8 .8 kilometers per game. By a small margin, Andre Zine Esther has the edge point for him. Speed The two football stars have always been agile players on the pitch, but who can achieve the greatest speed? Andres Iniesta, for example, was not a player known for his speed on the pitch. He stood out more for his excellent technique and ball control. He was able to compensate for his lack of speed with his agility, being nimble enough to dribble past opponents and change direction quickly. According to the 2015 Champions League statistics, Andre Zine Esther reached a top speed of 28.7 km per hour, which is a speed slightly below the average for elite players. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, is considered a very agile and fast striker, managing to achieve a good speed on the pitch. According to the Champions League 2022 statistics, Cristiano Ronaldo reached a top speed of 33.3 km per hour, an excellent figure for a player of his age. Ronaldo's speed is a danger to the opposing defense, allowing him to create good chances and shoot successfully, as Cristiano Ronaldo reaches the highest speed point for him. Dribbles both football stars have exceptional skills, 
but which one stands out more when it comes to dribbling? Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, is famous for his technical and precise dribbling, which is enhanced by his unusual agility, making him virtually unstoppable in one-on-one -on -one matches. One of Cristiano Ronaldo's best-known dribbles is the step-over, a technique in which he pretends to be going in one direction and then quickly switches to another using a movement with his legs. Another of Ronaldo's popular dribbles is the chop, which involves using the inside of the foot to cut the ball in the opposite direction. The chop is an agile and surprising move that Ronaldo uses to get past defenders and create space to move forward. Ronaldo also uses his agility to dribble past defenders, easily outmaneuvering his opponents with his technique. Andres Iniesta, on the other hand, can dribble past opponents with ease and elegance, one of the main characteristics that makes him stand out on the pitch. The Spanish star has a range of dribbles in his repertoire, which he uses frequently during matches. One of the dribbles he uses most often is his famous body spin, a sudden change of direction that allows him to get away from opponents. Another dribble that Iniesta uses a lot is La Crocata, in which he moves the ball quickly from one side to the other, past his opponent. Andres Iniesta is also capable of performing the famous sombrero flick, in which he manages to pass the ball over his opponent and remain in possession. Looking at FIFA statistics, Andres Iniesta, for example, has a score of 90 for dribbling, while CR7 also has a score of 90 for this skill. In other words, we have a draw. Assists Both players are very collaborative on the pitch, but who has the better ability to provide assists? Andre Zineesta, for example, is known for his excellent ability to provide assists in football, being an extremely collaborative midfielder with this team. The Spanish star knows exactly when and how to make the pass, choosing the right moment to release the ball and provide a decisive assist. Ine Esta is able to read the game with great ease and assertiveness, spotting gaps in the opposition's defense and creating dangerous moves. Throughout his football career, it is estimated that he has made a total of 192 assists in 987 games, which represents an average of 19 assists for every 100 games played. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, Despite being considered an individualist on the pitch, the Portuguese star also manages to help his team a lot, with assists that show his contribution to the team game. With his extraordinary technique and speed, he can position himself to deliver beautiful passes to his team. With his impressive vision, Ronaldo can make precise passes over long distances, giving his team a strategic advantage and leaving the opposition's defenses completely unmarked. According to some statistics updated in 2022, it is estimated that he has made a total of 200 130 assists in 1045 games, which gives an average of 22 assists every 100 games. As CR7's stats are a little better, points to him. Strength In terms of physical shape, the two players have different body structures, but which one is stronger? Andre Zineesta, for example, is relatively short and slim, standing at 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighing around 149 pounds. Physical strength is not a fundamental feature of his playing style, but he makes up for it with his agility and ability to anticipate moves. The Spaniard also has excellent balance and knows how to position himself effectively to withstand pressure from opponents. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, is a footballer who is well known and admired for his impressive physique. He has a super athletic physique, standing 6 feet 2 inches tall and weighing 183 pounds, with extremely defined muscles. Ronaldo is a very disciplined athlete who maintains an intense training routine and a strict diet. His impressive physical strength helps him to run quickly and shake off defenders with ease, even in challenging physical contact situations. His physique also helps him jump high and head the ball with the power to score goals from the air as Cristiano Ronaldo has a more imposing physique, points to him. Shots and Goals Both players are extremely skillful on the pitch, but who has the better goal conversion rate? Andres Iniesta, for example, despite being better known for other characteristics of the game, also has a remarkable ability to finish and score goals. The Spaniard has a good ability to position himself on the pitch, often finding empty spaces in the opponent's area to finish. Although he's not considered a natural goal scorer on the pitch, Ine Esta helps his team by scoring crucial goals at decisive moments. Based on some statistics from specialized football sources, it is estimated that Ine Esta has scored a total of 102 goals in 987 games, a low average of just 10 goals scored per 100 games played. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, 
is considered one of the best strikers in football. One of Ronaldo's main characteristics is his incredible accuracy and power in shooting with both feet, possessing impressive technique and ball control. He is considered to be one of the world's greatest penalty takers, amassing a total of over 150 converted goals with an impressive success rate of close to 84%. When it comes to scoring goals from set pieces, Cristiano Ronaldo is also one of the best in the world, having scored a total of over 142 headed goals, making him the highest scorer in this area in history. Adding up all his career goals, Cristiano Ronaldo has scored an impressive 835 goals in 1162 games, which represents an average of 72 goals every 100 games, a figure that shows his efficiency as a striker. As Cristiano Ronaldo excels in this skill, points to him. Awards both of these footballing idols are very prominent on the pitch, but which of them has more significant achievements? Andre Zineesta, for example, has won the most important titles while playing for Barcelona, including three UEFA Super Cups, four Champions Leagues, and three FIFA Club World Cups. As an individual, the Spaniard was once considered the best player in Europe, but never won the Ballon d'Or, having come second. Playing for his country's national team, Ine Esta won two European Cups and won the hotly contested 2012 World Cup. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, has won almost every award a player can aim for. Starting with the Ballon d'Or, he's won the award five times, making him the second most successful player. As for FIFA's newly created the best award, Cristiano Ronaldo has two titles to his name. Playing for the clubs he has played for, Ronaldo has also made a name for himself with his main achievements being his five UEFA Champions League titles and four FIFA Club World Cups. And because Cristiano Ronaldo is a player with a much more successful career, he easily wins this round. Market Value The two football tycoons have always been highly coveted, but which one is the most valuable and in demand by clubs? Andre Zineesta, for example, experienced the peak of his financial life in 2021 while playing in Japan for Vissel Kobe, where according to Forbes magazine, he was one of the highest paid players in the world, earning around $34 million a year. As for his market value, despite huge estimates of his worth at the height of his career, he never actually made a transfer. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, is one of the most successful players in the world. The Portuguese star is currently considered the highest paid athlete in the world receiving almost 200 million euros a year to play for Saudi Arabian club Al Nasser. In terms of market value, Cristiano Ronaldo had his most expensive transfer in 2018 when he moved to Juventus for 100 million euros. In other words, it's very difficult to beat CR7 in this regard. Point for him. At the end of this battle we had 3 points for Andre Zine Esther against 8 points for Cristiano Ronaldo, making him the winner. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, are you enjoying this video? So click on like and subscribe before continuing to watch this video.